Hello and welcome to this updated version of the Absolute Beginners Blender tutorial number 9 for Blender 2.63. I'll just open up the, the file that contains the model that we worked on in number, number 8. And all I really want to do in this is just to modify the model. Uh, and the, the aim is to create what you can call some somewhat something that looks like a ledge or a color on this and we could do that pretty simply by just selecting this face loop by pressing alt and right mouse click and then e for extrude and then just scale it uh, scale shift z so i'm just scaling it straight out like that that, that would be a pretty easy way to do that but there, I feel that there are some problems with that because uh, I like to, I regretted that altogether, I like to work with uh, controllable meshes, meshes that you can decide, you know, how tight you want them or how soft you want them, so, so to speak, loose, or uh, since I us usually use the um, subdivision surface modifier, which creates nice looking uh, surfaces. So I try to stay with models that will function well uh, with that modifier. So what I'm going to do now is I, I selected two sides, two opposite sides, and then I press E for extrude and then scale and just pull it out a little bit like that, something like that. And you can see the, mm, of course not, I want to scale it only in X, Y, scale X, like that. That's what I want. And as you can see, the, the modifier tugs on it and, and kind of want it to make it, make it uh, rounded. And we will uh, fix that in a little while. I'm just going to turn off the modifier so it's not as confusing. Uh, and uh, maybe this would like to try to keep this even so that the faces that we have here are scale X like something like that so that they're kind of even spaced here. Now I'll do the same thing for for in the Y direction. Press 3 to look at it from the side and then E for extrude and then scale Y and we just kind of eyeball it. See, okay, that looks good. So it looks somewhat, you know, even around there. So if we turn on the modifier again, we see that um, uh, this is a pretty, uh, like it's really soft, and I would like to have it a little bit more tight, a little bit more squarish looking, because that's a challenge. So anyway, uh, one way to do, or things that you can do to make that happen is of course you know some of the, the more obvious things or, or simple to do things doesn't take that much work this doesn't take a lot of work you know period but let's just say this we do control and R for up here so now we get control and R creates a loop and we can uh, pull that down so you can see how you can kind of straighten up this bending here and you can do the same thing at the bottom control R and just kind of do that and you can do the same thing on these edges control R and what happens when you do this is that you get more your your mesh becomes denser and it's more difficult to change it later so it's like these things when you do these what I call or I think it's usually called refining the mesh then you kind of had to know what you were you know aiming for so you don't have these really dense mesh that you then have to change you know a lot later and then we can continue to refine this like this and I'm just doing this to demonstrate you know how you what you're up against when you're trying to model something with the subdivision surface modifier and, and make it look you know look good or look tight so it's not completely, you know, manipulated. You take control over the modifier, not the other way around. So, uh, so there, 
now there's a lot of refinement here, a lot of extra mesh, extra vertices. And this is to have control over every little edge. This is what's required. So I'm just pre pressing Control R here. And then I can just move it with my mouse like that. And now you can see that um, this ledge here is, you know, we have, by doing this, we have determined what it's going to look like. And we're still getting what, what I want, would like to get out of the modifier is that these edges here are smooth. They're not, you know, perfectly 90 degree angles. If I turn off the modifier, uh, turn it off in every mode, turn it off in, uh, in render too, and look at this through the camera and then render that. Okay, it's still, yeah, it actually, let's just remove that all together. And yeah, we can, uh, of course, we have it all in uh, smooth shading. Let go for flat shading and like this. Then you see these completely 90 degree ang angles. And if you then choose shade smooth, you get this look and it's kind of looking fuzzy. And then we add the modifier and looks looks a lot more defined. And let's before we uh, end this do two things, put a material on this object and use a modifier to repeat this object. There's a it's called a, an array modifier. So the first thing I'll do is I'll add materials to this. And you go to the, you know, the, in the properties panel and there's materials and you click in on it. And there's actually a materials, uh, we, we did have a material already, but I would like to just change the color of it and the shading algorithm. I should change it to Mina Ert or whatever that's called and blend and I'll, lower the hardness of it and change the diffuse color to you can use the mouse wheel to just move up and down I'm gonna make it a darker green so very simple like that and then I'll press F12 to render it and that's what it looks like So there we have the materials and the, the next thing to do, I go into object mode and I add a, an, a modifier under the branch and I'll use the array modifier and you can see how it creates a, another one because we have a count of two. You can have the count of eight, eight little pawns in a chess game. And then we can change the relative offset a little bit so they, they're kept apart. And uh, let's look at this from the top. And then we can select the camera and pull that down along the x-axis and up. Press zero to look through it and then G to grab it and then I'll just move, use the mouse to move it up. I'll select that light and move it over to our side here and press F12 to render it. So there. And move that up so we get the light from above or from the side from above. So this is it for this tutorial and uh, what that basically contains is how you can you know how you can manipulate the mesh after it's so say one continuous mesh or you know certain ways to do that and what I showed you here was a um, what can I say a mesh type that is designed to withstand the um, subdivision surface modifier so that you have basically ultimate control over every edge 
and of course this requires more work it makes a dense, denser mesh uh, but I've why I talk about this is because I found this to be um, you know very um, reliable when you do your modeling that you can kind of rely on your model to stay intact uh, also uh, if you do you know if you deform it through a, an armature which you learn a lot you know in the future then this type of mesh is also very resistant to or, or I mean it deforms well it it doesn't break up so so much so I mean it, it, it's still as flexible as any other mesh because meshes are not they don't resist bending with an armature but they they, they can deform more or less uh, pleasantly if you put it that way so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.